Welcome to the Mind, Body, and You. My name is Deanne Ojo Ali, and I am thrilled to have my co host Anita Chesky, who will be sitting with me, one of her amazing co authors. And welcome, Anita. Thank you, Deanne. It's so exciting to be here. Yes, again. of yes. course. We're yes. having fun in the show, right? Yes, lots of fun. Tell us who do we have this lovely lady who's sitting with us today. Thank you. We have a special VIP guest here visiting us from England. This is our lovely Margaret. And I'm, Margaret, I'm going to ask you to pronounce your last name. Okay, my name is Margaret Nyakambangwe. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for yeah. that because we want to make sure it's right. it politically pronounced correctly. correctly. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. That. It's a beautiful name. It sounded beautiful the way you said it. What, what ethnic origin is that? I'm from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So I'm just going to introduce you. Margaret actually is a second generation of the LWL family. She's actually a co-author of one of my lovely um, VIP clients who's actually compiling her own book, which is Mar um, pardon me, Monica Kuenzi, who is compiling a book called A Woman's Beauty is the Depth of Her Soul. Would you like to tell us about your contribution in that book, Margaret? Yes, thank you very much, Anita. I'm writing a chapter in the book. A woman's beauty is the, in the depth of her soul. Um, I'm doing a chapter which is about 2,000 words in it, and I've already compiled my story just to be edited and put in the book. Lovely. Almost done. Wonderful. I have to say something here. I have to jump in here. Who came up with that title for that book? A woman's beauty is in her soul. A woman's beauty is the depth of her the soul. soul. Monica and I did that. Yes. That is amazing. It's, it's I, Monica's vision. Well, I have vision. vision. We previously had one show. Yes, show we before. did. Yes. And the reason I'm saying that because for myself personally, I had to learn that. Mm. I'm not kidding you about that. I literally mm. had to learn that. People mm. came into my lives to show me that. And it took a long time for me to see that, um, to be honest, I accept that. So just hearing it, there's a lot of personal things will come out in this show, I could guarantee mm -hmm. you that one. Um, but it is, it, the way it, it flows the words is beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. yes. Actually, Margaret, because um, Deanne was mentioning about the resonating of the title with her, can you please explain how this title resonated with you to come into the book? Uh, this title, for me, when I heard about it, about the book, that's when I thought, oh, it reminded me of my mother mm -hmm. because of her beautiful soul, mm -hmm. what she did for me. For me to be here, it's because of her. And then... What did she do? <laughs> um, she looked after me and my other siblings. We are four in the family and she was a single mother. Mm -hmm. And she did send us to school, good schools, went to boarding school with me, my sister, and my two brothers, and until when we finished. Um, she didn't complain of anything. I knew she had no money, mm -hmm. but you know, she struggled, and she wanted us to have the best, and we really did have the best, mm -hmm. and from such a beautiful woman. She was very hardworking. Mm -hmm. What did she do as profession? Um, her profession, she was a social worker. Mm -hmm. So she used to work in a community doing all the work and everybody liked her because mm -hmm. she was doing quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And at our house it was like, that's a workplace. Everybody would come, even on weekends they would come and if for birthdays, funerals, weddings, mm -hmm. everything. They would come and get flowers, they would come and get any advice, anything. Mm -hmm. Even in the community. If people have got their problems, like marital problems, education, anything that you can think of in a community, they would come. Even if they don't have anything to eat, they she would come. Them. Yes, she would feed them. So she was, and we're thinking, mm, oh my God, I think we don't have enough. Yes. 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 I have to say something to you. Yes. I have to say this, not to take away from no. what you're saying. No, it's all right. You have a beautiful, mesmerizing voice. I was going to say, thank you. Thank you. I, I know. am. I'm doing Thank my so absolute much. best right now to, to stay focused yes. on what you guys are saying, yeah. but you're really taking me away. Yes. Oh, and I'm you. trying to get myself back into it. It is so musical. <laughs> At times right. she made me cry from the things she shared with me. Has anybody ever told yes. you that before? Yes. Yeah, people always say that. Very eloquent. 
it's it's just flowing and graceful. I'm sorry, yes. I didn't mean to take that away from you, but that's <laughs> a really good strength. You know, even my son, you should do hypnotherapy. Son, that's kind of oh, thank you. I should do that. She's a nurse, even my actually. patients. My patients always say, oh yeah. my God, you've got a beautiful smile. Yes. You've got a beautiful voice. So I spend more time. You have a time. hypnotic face and yes. voice. That's oh, right. thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm not saying this because we're on camera. I'm saying this because mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm thank really, you. I'm feeling it because I'm really trying to mess it up. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. Mess. That's why I know. But it's, I just love the way you speak. Mm -hmm. oh, I can you. listen to you tell a story. Yeah. You know, yeah. one I day. I think you're a storyteller. Tell the truth. I am. I tell the truth. Yes. yes. No, I meant to tell the truth. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nothing. So, <laughs> yes. One day I was working at work, and as a nurse, as a nurse, we forgot to mention yes. that I'm a nurse. A nurse. I love the yes. <laughs> yeah. And I was at work. There was this man who came in, suicidal and everything. So I was one of my patients in ER. So I went there, did what I'm supposed to do, and I went back, did everything. Then something, you know, just said, go and speak to this man. I went back in there, and I was talking to him. And, you know, he became so calm and everything. And at the end, he asked me, oh, you've got a beautiful voice. Where do you come from and everything? And then we started chatting and chatting. And then say, you know what? When I came here, I was feeling very, very lonely, and I wanted to end my life. But you have given me hope. I'm just going to move up with my life and I'm not going to give up. Mm. But this is very good. One of you have a very calm, yeah. soothing voice and it's yes. very fitting that you're writing this book. In this particular book, the yes. story where you can actually relate the story yes. because you'd be surprised, I know, not to get away because this again is my body <laughs> and you. So <laughs> yeah, we talk about different things. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying to you because I am a, also in hypnotherapy and so oh. forth, mm -hmm. which you didn't know about me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, is having that that hypnotic voice, you'd be surprised. It's not even so much what you're seeing; is the way you say it, it and taking the cross. It's very compelling. That is what is resonating with them. So it's a gift for you. All right. It's a skill and a yes. gift for you. Oh, so thank you very right. much. Because you, I, I can't express the words, but they may need to, to take away from this, please. <laughs> no, please don't. You know what? Actually, we are celebrating you, and that's what this show is all about. We we love to empower and celebrate our guests and, and acknowledge the best qualities in them, even if they may not recognize it. So what Deanne is doing is absolutely what this is all about. And that made people do that to me, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I, so, yes. I, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think yeah. now I'm considering doing hypnotherapy then. Yes. I yes. have to do it. It's an extension. It's an, yes. And as a nurse, we have that privilege to be able to connect. And even anybody that's working in the field of connecting yeah, with people, people, it's a special gift to even step into it because we have the privilege of connecting with other souls. That's so, yes, that's right? true. And it, again, true. you know, we're probably going to focus more about your voice in this show because <laughs> I guess it's just taken us to a different level. But again, we always talk about you have a very powerful empowering and you educate in the same time with that. So mm -hmm. telling your story, which we will be talking about now, as to yes. why you came about in the book, um, tell us now how in a very hypnotic, beautiful storytelling. <laughs> Thank you. Because I have to enjoy this. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dan. You're welcome. Yeah, for me to come into this story, it's all because of my mother. I was just admiring her soul what she was doing in the community. Anyway, when she was alive, I used to talk to her maybe two, three times a day. Um, she was sort of like my handbag. You know, you don't leave your handbag behind. Yeah, it's thing. always there with you. Repeat that. And repeat that part okay. again. I want people to catch this because um, she said it at the conference and yeah. now I want you to say it on camera. Yes. My mother, we're very close. Very, very close. I would speak to her two, three times a day. She was like, she was my handbag. Not like, but she was my handbag. You don't leave your handbag behind. Always it's with you. you need that to brand was. It. Okay. She needs okay. to brand that. Okay, okay, yeah. Margaret. Branding that. Margaret. Right now. <laughs> We're branding her. <laughs> yeah. That metaphor and that yes. analogy, mm -hmm. I think, don't think be, most people got it. Mm -hmm. Your mother was your rock. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. why you are you are. That's why, yes. yes. You picked up that quality from her. Mm -hmm. She was your resource. Yes. She was your everything. Yes. yes. And you. Are sitting here today with all your mother's qualities. Is that's that right. Correct? Yes. Now that's, that's what correct. I'm going to tell you. Is no, that that's correct. Mm -hmm. That's the way correct. you speak about her also says that's exactly who you are. That's right. 
and she installed so much in that's right she did yes she may not be here today but well, she, she, you are who she was that's it is, still is. is. That's 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 cool. she is still she yeah. still is and you, you gotta realize this show is not exactly what you think it was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> so we were like, yes. and then we really want you to brand that handbag yes. phrase because I've never heard it before. Have you heard that? And if there's anything no. copyright for this, it was first with the market. That's right. We had you know, a tip. That would be, you know, yeah. when, if, when you go back home or before you go back home, you still have some time tonight. Yeah. Go and you know get a domain or brand it as to something there because. It is huge, powerful what you just said. Yeah. It's your story. I've never dad. heard that or yeah. thought about it that way. It's your signature it talk. It it's is. who you are. It's where you came from and it's where you're going. It, everything from here on end will reflect on this. This what you focused on about the handbag. Yeah. The handbag. But that message, oh, yes, yeah. but that, but that no. message Anita, yes. seriously, mm -hmm. saying this, that message for the younger people or any generation to mm -hmm. think about the relationship that they have with their parents. I'll be parents. honest with you, and I'm very honest about mm -hmm. my life. I mean, if my kids would ever say something like that, mm -hmm. which I don't very much I'll ever hear, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but I don't think it's something you we, it's not we, common. Especially in our community, our Caribbean community, yeah. it's not something that resonates with us at a certain point. Oh, Canadian so, too. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's not. not. Yeah, but that's okay. what that's what happens when you have people from a different culture who have life simpler. I mean we all had very different times and hard times. Mm -hmm. But now in the modern age you don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. Now the life is so disconnected. We don't have a relationship with our parents, yes. our mothers in particular. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody's busy, but I don't see my kids, unfortunately. It's sad to say. Really? And what I'm saying to you is, that is a beautiful thing to say. And even mm -hmm. even if we don't talk about anything else, that in its own for the rest thing. of the show yes. means everything. Yeah. The appreciation yes. and the depth of the love, you know, it's just. So thank you, Anita, for picking that up. Yeah. Oh yes. Um, thank you very much, as well. Anita. But you sorry, onto your story. Yeah, so now into my story. Yeah, so that's my mother. So I would even call her at any time, even 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 12 midnight. And she wouldn't complain. She would just say, oh, Margaret, that's a good time because nobody's knocking at the door. And we would talk and talk and talk on end. Um, she inspired me so much. She was very hardworking. What's her name? What's Alice Mambinge. Alice. 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 Alice Mambinge. Yes, that's what her name Alice. So this is dedicated to Alice. Alice, yes. So yes. it's all dedicated to Alice Mambinge. Mm -hmm. And she was very hardworking. And uh, she was a referee, I think the first woman referee in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was there in Zimbabwe. She used to coach the under 23, the young warriors of Zimbabwe, the main side. And she also had. What sport is that? Soccer. Soccer. So yeah. I want to make sure it was soccer. Yeah, it was soccer. I want to make sure I was arrested. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah, she used to referee the, the men's soccer that's and big. women's that's soccer. Yeah, yeah, it's huge she for a woman. Used, to, yeah. Uh, that's a lot of respect. She had, too, yeah. gave respect. Mm -hmm. Yes. She had a team, Benning Stars. It was for female, female soccer. Oh, and wow. they used to compete and win, I mean, cups and uh, the whole of Southern Africa. She used to travel, she used to work very hard. So that inspired me. And even when she died in 2007, there were so many people from all walks of life you can think of. And everybody, you know, they were just talking about the good things and they were just saying, so who is going to do this for us? Who is going to do that? Because this woman used to do it. And those who were married would say, oh my God, my house is going to break up. Because this woman kept us going. That was her work. And she really put her life in the community. I had someone that in my life that about like, 12 years ago. And mm -hmm. she was like my second mother. Oh, um, who is your hero? Who you mm -hmm. admire so much that, apart from your mom, or is your mom too as well, but who mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. Anita. <laughs> <laughs> what? Me? Yes, Anita says <laughs> HK. Because when I saw limitations without living without limitations. You know, I wasn't She's expecting you. We're not the Kleenex guys. We're not the Kleenex guys. Every time. This, when oh I saw my. living okay, without limitations. It's okay, we can use a table cloth. It's okay. <laughs> oh, God. When I saw this living without oh. limitations, she brought back all my mother's memories. I said, this is what I was looking for. Opportunity. So yes, that was an opportunity. And that opportunity has landed me in Canada. International. Toronto. International. I'm now as an international speaker. 
international author, it's all because of her. Uh, it was, I mean, see the how connection. I feel now when you <laughs> see it after me. The connection That's was true. just, you know, I didn't have to think twice. I didn't have to say, when Monica talked to me about her book, we were at a con, um, we had a meeting for a mastermind group which we were forming. So we went there, we were, I think, about 10 of us, and we did what we were supposed to do. And then she talked about the book. And then I said, oh, I'll come on board. And then that's when I saw the books of limitation, living without limitations. I thought, oh, that's, that's my mind. So wait a minute. So you didn't know about Anita's books before. You just know about Monica, Monica, what she was going to write. When we met. We yes. met. So she heard about that first. She didn't know who you were at the time. No. And then from there, when I saw the book, and then it was written, Anita Sesechke. And then yeah, I know it's she was. <laughs> Monica's friend on Facebook. Then I sent a friend request and she did. And all the posts, I was just following her, all the posts. She's my mentor, she doesn't know. Now yeah, she knows she I'm telling her. She posts all and the selfies, selfies, the selfies. And, the selfies <laughs> and everything. So that has changed my life and I've just been following her and everything. And when I saw this conference coming, Mississauga, Toronto, Canada, I said, ooh, I'm going. Uh, this is why I'm here. I believed, I had great faith in her, and I believed in her, and this is why I'm here. She's just like my mother. I have to was. say this. Um, what you did for that, you know, we keep going back to that, it was phenomenal. The people you got in that room, and have people come in from the States, and England, and so forth, and for having Monica, and Margaret, and everybody else, you don't understand what you did. Because it still hasn't sunk in. No, nothing sunk in. It's bringing this together internationally is not an easy thing. That's when you true. have someone like Margaret comes in and say, yes, it's given them opportunity. And this probably would not have happened in, in maybe no. ever or at some point in time. No, but it, it resonated with it. So this is, um, what should I say, the word I'm thinking. It's a celebration for all you women who yes. got together in those books and it, you know without her it's a team yes. so you have to you know, uh, you know. <laughs> so I'm trying you. not to cry <laughs> because they know what they did to me before her. <laughs> but, but thank you so much for acknowledging and accepting that because again I'm not to take this away from you but again no, no. it's a coaching from each other and, yes. and appreciating each other because she doesn't understand what she's doing even when she co-hosts she's still asking me why <laughs> so <laughs> you know but again, it comes back in ten folds, which you will take forward and you're bring just, it back as well. Yeah. So you know, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? That's the truth. What she did to me, and a lot of changes have happened, and people have noticed. And even when I, when I got a message to say I will be an international speaker, I go, Oh my God! <laughs> and the person I was working with said, Oh my God, what's the matter? <laughs> then I just showed him the message. He was also shocked. He said, is that what you do? I said, yes. <laughs> and then he says to me, what are you going to say? I said, I don't know. Well, that was th Wednesday night. And then Thursday, Friday, Friday we were on the plane. And I'm thinking, God, what am I going to say? I didn't have anything. On Friday, when we were at the airport, we were waiting for the plane. I phoned my son, Joseph. And I said, Joseph, I'm going to Canada. He was so thrilled. I said, what are you going to do, ma'am? So there's a conference there, living without limitations. Said, so wait a minute, your son didn't know you were on the plane? No, <laughs> I didn't know. But then I, I realized, oh God, I didn't do what we are supposed to do because we tell each other what we are doing and where we are going in oh case my. you know what is happening in the world. And she's going to cross into the waters. Yes. And then, and then I said to him, so what are you going to do there? Then I said, they've asked me to speak as an international person. Ma'am, what are you going to say? I said, you know, Joseph, I don't have any words. I don't know what to say. Then he says to me, okay, ma'am, I'm going to pray for you. I said, all right. And he went on, dear God, be with my mother. She's going to Canada. She's going to be an international speaker. Can you give her words to, to say? And then he went on with his prayer and finished. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah, with yeah. I gotta say something okay. to you. You guys didn't realize this. And I didn't realize it until it happened the weekend. I was sitting there, my book is international as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's sold in the Caribbean and so forth. I never thought about my book being international until I yeah. sat down in yes. that room. <laughs> exactly. And seriously, I did not even think about it.
what it's after. So you're not branding yourself properly. We <laughs> well, have to talk. no, I have it in schools and so forth. <laughs> I'm so busy with what I'm doing. But it's not until I sat in that room and you two ladies and, of course, um, Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. Um, as well, sat there and said, you know, I'm an international author. I'm thinking, Wait a minute, my book is international too. That's right. I didn't even remember that. It's quite yes, an so. honor to say international. And I even got an award it, from there too. There but, I don't, but I don't, it doesn't register for yes. me because we still have so much work to do to here do yes. that That's I never even think about across the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. So I'd like to say something yes. in response to what you're saying, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Um, thank you. I don't know. I don't know what it was that you feel that you connected with me. But what I want to say is that it's not me. It's what's inside of you that's connecting with the people that you need to be connected with, just like I am. And that's what is the bigger picture. And I'm so grateful and so honored to know you and to have you here because because of you, you confirm that what I'm doing is for real. It is for real. I think you I'm going to keep a box of Phoenix here for every show from now on. <laughs> it was not until when we had dinner the night before the conference and to hear you talk, and I was like, my gosh, all the times I wanted to throw in the towel for that conference. I know you Oh, trust me, she yeah. did. Oh, <laughs> trust me, she did. To do oh, before. Do you mind if I said what happened? To sure. Just before, when I was hooking up with the mic, yeah. she was in the bathroom. Oh, and I said oh, to me, God. what am I doing? And I said, it's going to be fine. You're already yeah. here. You know, not to, I mean, it, we're going to be open in this show mm -hmm. as much as we can because yeah. I just want people to know we're not iron ladies, although some people think mm -hmm. we are. We are yeah. still humans, we're still learning, and we're still there as guided yes. angels for others. Other people, yes. But we still have our struggles, we still have our fears. Oh, yes. We still have everything as much as we would like to dismiss it. And there was nothing to fear, to tell you the truth. No, there's nothing. But it's just the fact it was her first, and she did amazing for the people that was but there. But it was amazing. Thank you. For it's the a life changer. There, I'm saying to you, and for everyone else who came out there, for your story, for everybody else's story, that was the message to empower everyone yeah. that was in there. Yeah. Yes. There were tears. There were laughter. Oh, yes. <laughs> there was fun. There mm -hmm. was everything. There's lots of food. Lots of cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the end of the day, you all come out to tell your story. But I do urge you. When is your story? When is your book coming out? This um, summer. Right? This summer. Yeah. It's so we don't want to steal summer. too much of it because it's not out yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to keep them in suspense as when's it going to get there. But I also would say to you to have your book and have that story and speak it. Okay. Because your voice Thank is you. more. Reading is one, you know, we're yeah. visual, but we're also auditory. But I'm telling you, girlfriend, that voice of yours as a hypnotherapist, yeah. I'm telling you, that voice will work wonders. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I can't express I just had to say it, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just telling the truth. It is. It is. I really believe you should also have an uh, audio version of it because. Yes. All oh, right, I will do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. As well as the radio show. Now I've got two mentors around. As, well, as well as the radio yes. show. Yes. One there yes. too. That's I, right. Oh. I've got three mentors. <laughs> we all Four. need mentors. We have many we mentors. Need, I have many yeah. mentors. Don't worry about yeah. it. Many coaches, many mentors. That's right. Yeah. What is the message that you want to send out there? Look in there and say from your heart. You know, just talk. Just talk to from my heart. The whatever message. you want to say. Take the next five minutes and talk. Okay. This is all about you. Yeah. The message that I would like to send to the people out there is in life. Life is full of mysteries, and sometimes we do not understand what is happening in our lives, and we do not understand why things are happening the way they are. But what I can say is only have faith. Whatever you believe in, with me I believe in my God, but whatever you believe in, there are so many things, and believe in yourself, have faith, great faith, no matter what is happening, no matter what you are going through, every season, every, every storm, it can just pass through because there is always a time limit for each stage in life. You can be in living in abundance at one point, 
and at one minute the next minute you are staying without anything at all or you could be happy in the next minute the next minute you are not happy but it will all come to pass as we always say you know if if it's night time morning will always come there's always dawn and that's how life is and everything will change but never give up in everything that you do and don't get tired in everything that you just persevere and have great faith at least you reach your point you get where you want to be but if you get tired if you give up you just crumble and you not get anywhere and you always be blaming yourself don't blame yourself always thank god thank the universe thank everything that you have for everything that you have the gift of life it's something that we have that we take for granted until when something happens then you think oh yesterday I had a good day what's happening today it's because sometimes we take things for granted i think that's the message i have that i never give up how could we get in contact with you to hear more of that um you can get in contact with me on facebook my name margaret nyakambangwe or you can we'll have the spelling there as well that's yeah. right and <laughs> uh, you can get me on twitter magnum 2 tj or you can get me on email magnum2tj at yahoo.co.uk or you can get me on my number 0044-750-195-1425 and Facebook and Facebook the way everywhere. as well everywhere and with the and new book Instagram the new book too and in the new book as the well title. and the title is uh, Beauty of a Woman a Woman's a Beauty, woman's beauty is, is the Depth of Her Soul and also, I'm going to co-author in another book, Fish and Quest. There you have it. Nice. Yes. Very nice. That is the first time on air. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. That's Number all. Three. Yeah. That's all happened mm -hmm. when we came to the conference, Living Without Limitations. Mm -hmm. So the sky is the limit, really. Mm -hmm. And if I had given up in my life, mm -hmm. and if it wasn't of my mother, I wouldn't have been where I am today. I wouldn't be on this show today. But I really thank my mother and dedicate everything mm -hmm. to my mother. And I'm um, also, um, I'm in the process of having a foundation, Alice Mambinga Foundation in memory of my mother, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. I'll carry on the work that she was doing. Beautiful. Yes. And what would the foundation support? Uh, it will be supporting uh, the girl child and, so, and mm -hmm. sports. Because she was more into sports. That's great. And she liked football, women football and men, and sports. And she always wanted everybody to keep fit. Okay. That was it. Okay. Yeah. But she should bring some of that over here. Yeah. And there's so much we can talk about. So uh, definitely. So, um, for myself, you know, um, I am so thrilled. You really, like I said, I've never had a guest at any of my shows that really mesmerized me you did the way you did I, I you know I'm saying seriously and you know there's so much more I understand some great things happening in the next year or so coming up where we probably will be together again yes. so I do look forward at that time you'll have the books in your hands yes absolutely so yes. thank you so much Margaret for you know making me open my eyes to a couple of things here today believe it or not and then some things you said really hit the heart um, and then we'll talk off camera about that yes. um, but I want to thank you so much and to have a safe journey back home and I appreciate it Anita thank you thank you Diane thank you Margaret thank you so much for blessing us with your presence today and your beautiful voice um, thank you for not making me cry again I, <laughs> I had to really hold that in but um, I want I want to leave you with something when you leave this show okay. I know that you said that you, you look at me as your mentor and, and, and I know you have your mom, but you know something, honey? Yes. You are a mentor to millions of women already. Oh. And if you have not recognized that, I want you to know that. The Thank very you. fact that you got on a plane, you didn't know me from a can of beans, yeah. you know? And you had that drive and determination to step into what you want. That's true. 
I am so proud to be connected to you. Thank you very much, Anita. Thank you very much, Deanne. You're welcome. Well, until next time, on Mind, Body, and You, this is Deanne. And this is Anita Sachewski. My gosh, Nia Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, this is to you all. And, you know, what can I say? Just be safe and protect